Hogwarts is back and we couldn't be more thrilled to walk through those doors to see a young Albus Dumbledore. We've literally been counting down the days, haven't you? Theories have sprung up everywhere from the exhilarating trailer, hinting at what the movie might have in store. Are you the greatest Potter fan? Well, watch this video to dive into the most shocking theories of the new film, broken down by the second. Are you as stoked about the wizarding world as us? Then give us a like and subscribe below for more great videos like this. Now on to 10 theories about the Fantastic Beasts, the crimes of Grinwald trailer. Credence Controls the imagination that brought us Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, and Ron Weasley never fails to thrill us. So what happened before The Boy Who Lived? In the new spin-off film's Fantastic Beasts, Rowling brings us on a journey with Newt Scamander, which as you know was expelled from our precious Hogwarts. With the new trailer, there's no telling what could happen, but our first theory takes us off to a running start. Credence Barebone, who it alluded to died in the first film, is back and it looks like stronger than ever. The trailer gives us a nice taste of his presences, and it sure seems like he's attempting to control his powers. The adopted, beaten half-blood had his magic suppressed so strongly he became an Obscurial. Obscurial is a young wizard who develops a dark, parasitical magical force as a result of their magic being suppressed through abuse, either psychological or physical. Credence was losing control of his Obscurus, which led him to grave danger. In the trailer, we see him sitting on a rooftop with a curse flying around. In another scene, he is actually using a wand, which is a lot for the boy whose adoptive mother shoved him into an anti-wizarding group in an attempt to keep him from magic. Well, Credence is back, and it appears he's learning to control his magic. The real question is, what will he use his skills for? Origins of Nagini this next theory takes us way back. It may be the most instantly famous theory about the Fantastic Beasts trailer. A new character, Maledictus, is theorized to turn into Voldemort's snake, Nagini, the evil serpent we met and heard terrifyingly hiss in the Harry Potter films. This has been a major fan theory for years, and the trailer could have confirmed everyone's guesses. Nagini's fate was ultimately linked to Voldemort, as the snake hoarded a part of his soul. Nagini was a horcrux. Claudia Kim plays the mysterious character Maledictus. She is shown in the trailer with Credence clearly fooling around with obscurial dark magic. We have the information that Maledictus is someone who suffers from a blood curse, which turns them into a beast. Another brief moment in the trailer, if you're quick to catch it, is at 1 minute and 17 seconds. It's a poster for the circus of a woman eerily similar to Claudia Kim, entangled with a snake. Underneath the image, it reads, Maledictus. Not much is known about how Voldemort and Nagini originally came to join forces, but perhaps if this theory is correct, we'll find out in November 2018. Nagini may be an instrument of dark magic from way back in these early wizarding days. The Ministry is Holding Dumbledore Back Dumbledore has saved the day on numerous occasions in Harry Potter. However, back in his younger days, he surely wasn't trusted as much. The trailer suggests that the films will begin to explore Albus's complicated past more deeply. As we know from the books, Grindelwald and Dumbledore have a complicated history, both becoming obsessively interested in the Deathly Hallows. In a tragic turn of events, Dumbledore's sister, Ariana, was killed while a duel broke out. Unsure whose spell it was, Dumbledore took the blame. This overbearing guilt is what he claims stopped him from facing Grindelwald's rise to power. In the trailer, Dumbledore sends Newt on a mission instead of himself going to confront Grindelwald. It also reveals that there could be another reason Dumbledore wasn't facing his old friend. So is it possible that political forces held him back from confronting his frenemy until 1945 when the Fantastic Beasts films end? 1945 is the year Grindelwald died in the ominous duel between the two super wizards. Did the Deathly Hallows film sum up the true history poorly? The trailer suggests that Dumbledore did have to listen to the Ministry of Magic's orders, with them all in his office surrounding him. The Ministry attempted to sit out Grindelwald's reign, so despite Dumbledore's personal connection with the evil wizard, he was most likely heavily swaddled to not fight Grindelwald. Does Letta return with evil motives? Ah, the good old love triangle may make an unwanted appearance in our fantasy world, involving Tina, Newt, and of course, Letta Lestrange. We all know that Newt marries Tina Goldstein, but his old love interest is back and we're pretty sure she's going to be stirring the pot one way or another, and it may be for little more than love. This is more of a far-fetched theory, but Letta is back for a reason, and if it doesn't have to do with Newt in some way, then we're already lost. 
We theorize that Letta is back in some way to manipulate Newt to get what she wants. Letta technically used Newt once before, when he took the blame for her mistake and was expelled from Hogwarts. So there's no saying how far she could go. What do you think Letta's purpose is in the film? Will Newt and Letta get back together? Only for Newt to find himself stabbed in the back? By 1927, Letta became engaged to Newt's brother, Theseus. And we don't think J.K. Rowling would have Newt diverted to Letta, then back to Tina for no reason. Letta has other motives, and we're sure of it. Does Grindelwald escape? In the thrilling and fast-paced trailer, we get a better look at Grindelwald's white face. The infamous villain played by Johnny Depp only made a sneak appearance at the end of the last film, and now he's back for more. Gellert Grindelwald is considered the second most dangerous wizard after Tom Riddle, an idealistic revolutionary one at that. In the trailer, it appears he is standing before Wyzigamot, the Parliament and High Court of Britain's wizarding world. Though it looks like Grindelwald will answer for his crimes, we're almost certain that is and what is going to go down. We mean Grindelwald is terrifying notorious, and a little law enforcement isn't going to stop him. Plus, there's proof. Later in the trailer, a carriage busts through the doors, which is most likely his big escape. The carriage was pulled by Thestrals, a type of creature that is invisible to anyone who hasn't seen death. We wonder who else can see the Thestrals. Newt and ministry officials, perhaps? The carriage flies through the air, dodging wizards and witches on brooms next to it. Clearly, this is some sort of grand breakout. Inside the carriage, we theorize, is our criminal wizard mastermind Grindelwald. Or perhaps it was a diversion for him to escape another way. Either way, Grindelwald is out and at large. Dumbledore Defense Against Dark Arts Professor During the early wizarding world, we get to see the youth of Dumbledore, played by lovable actor Jude Law. In the trailer, though, he is not in the office we know so well to be his. We theorize that he was the professor of defense against the dark arts. You don't get that good at fighting off Dementors and facing he who shall not be named without all those curses and spells in the head. In the trailer, Dumbledore leans against a desk, sweeping windows in the background, the stone walls surrounding the large room. Sure looks like he could be teaching the class. The job has been labeled as cursed in the original books, but what if it was Dumbledore who was the last uncursed wizard to teach the class? Perhaps there is another layer here we are just discovering. Did Dumbledore curse the position for future teachers, and if so, why? Though defense against the dark arts is obviously important, maybe he didn't believe in the students learning such dark magic after seeing what happened to Voldemort. Perhaps he was trying to protect them, and though he couldn't get rid of the position, he cursed it instead. We're certain Dumbledore has more than a few secrets up those magic-wielding sleeves. Maledictus Betrayed Maledictus is going to be a major part of the new film. We speculate maybe even working with Grindelwald in the end. If Maledictus does turn out to be Nagini, we suspect that she works with Grindelwald and when she tried to leave him, he cursed her. In the trailer, we see on the poster Maledictus with a snake underneath the translation of the French slogan reads, In the Flesh, meaning the audience most likely gets to see her turn into the terrifying snake at the circus. Perhaps Grindelwald found out about her power and decided to use it to his advantage. Grindelwald's story mirrors that of the Nazis insinuating that during the Second World War, wizards and witches may have been involved. Grindelwald is eerily similar to Hitler and even dies the same year Hitler does. Hitler would use any names necessary to see his evil goals come to fruition, and we're certain the same goes for Grindelwald. As the building explodes in the trailer, a man stands in the center. Unable to make out who it is, we theorize it is either Grindelwald freeing Maledictus or Maledictus using Credence to free both of them and go to the Dark Lord. Her allegiance may have been swayed, it appears. The question remains, did Grindelwald curse Maledictus to remain a snake forever? Credence held captive. We already know Credence is back, but is he also in the circus or held captive by the circus? Maybe this is the reason that he is learning to control his powers, to possibly escape. Many theories have arisen simply stating that Credence joined the circus. However, we're certain it's darker than that. What if Credence is actually being held captive by the circus? This would explain his visible anger in the trailer as he attempts to use a wand. At another moment in the circus tent, the audience watches something or someone in a cage. 
Could it be Credence? His momentous amount of magical powers could definitely interest the Circus Arcanus, the traveling museum of human oddities. Credence would certainly fit, that is if they can keep him captive. This fits with why we see Maledictus and Credence on the roof, with her seemingly teaching him how to control his magic. Maledictus, who's part of the circus as seen on the poster, must have met Credence there. If Maledictus is on the dark side, his powers would interest her greatly. What if she helped him escape and then began teaching him magic? A picture was released for the film with Maledictus and Credence, her arm around him. Seems to us like that's one large hint of her taking him under her evil snake venom control. Grindelwald and Dumbledore together Rowling announced that Albus and Gellert had an intimate relationship in the past, which would make sense as to why Dumbledore took so long to defeat his dear friend, because in fact, they were lovers. This theory stems not only from the mouth of Rowling, the newspaper that dissected this controversy, but also in the trailer. Rowling was condemned for saying that she did include gay characters in her work, when she had in fact not explicitly. She went on to say that Dumbledore and Grindelwald had been together. However, this was nowhere apparent in the books, especially for children, so will it be in the new film? It would make perfect sense if they were lovers, making their bond more complicated as they turn into the good versus evil wizards we know them as. It seems far far-fetched that Dumbledore wouldn't go defeat Grindelwald sooner just because of the Ministry. This theory makes sense, and we love that there is a potential for gay characters to be seen in our wizarding world. This relationship would add another layer of conflict on the fire. The controversy over the relationship being non-explicitly shown in the film created backlash from fans, which was defended by Rowling. We just hope that they dive into the only uncharted territory in these films so far. The trailer suggests something is stirring, and there is definitely more than one level to it. What's the connection between Letta and Credence? In the trailer, there is a small detail that devoted fans found. There is a split-second shot of a man standing in front of a luminous chart in an unknown area. However, if you were to pause and zoom on that image, Credence and Letta are linked. Yup, you heard that right. With just this one meticulous pause and zoom, a major part of the plot has been uncovered. Credence and Letta are the children of Corvus Lestrange by different mothers, which makes them half-siblings, which then further links Credence into the Harry Potter films, making him a relative of Sirius Black, the evil Bellatrix Lestrange, and Nymphador Tonks. However, that's not all that's shown in the chart. It's also a link to characters' racial lineage, which hints at the themes that will be explored in the second Fantastic Beasts. Pop Sugar even speculates that with racism coming into the wizarding world, it may even mean this film dives into a deeper exploration of what Crimes of Grindelwald actually means. We'll be lining up outside the theater in November, but while we excitedly wait, do you have any theories of your own? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching 10 Theories About the Fantastic Beasts, the Crimes of Grindelwald trailer. See you next time. Time.